that how is that going to happen? It's going to happen by 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 17. Remember what it says? No, let me look back. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> no, you keep me honest, girl. I tell you, I love you. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is just awesome. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And verse 17, and I want you to notice what it says. <laughs> All right. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 17 says, Then we who are what? Alive and remain. What's going to happen? shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. And to meet the Lord, yes, in the air. And so, what? Shall we ever be forever with the Lord? I was on this program one time, and this man, he, he just, oh boy, he, he had kind of worked up the staff there. Talk about there's no such thing as a rapture. Yeah. So what do you mean? The word is mentioned at least five times in the word of God. Uh -huh. Yes, the thief comes not but for the steal and to kill and to destroy. He comes to snatch away what he can. That's in John 10. Uh -huh. Yes. And then what about the Ethiopian eunuch, right? When he got saved and all of a sudden God snatched him out of there and took him to another place and he was found there. It's used right here. Yeah. It's used in John chapter 14. I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. It's the same principle. No, the word rapture does not appear in the scriptures. Hapakso is the word. It means to be snatched. To be grabbed. God knows, okay, when the rapture comes, he's going to take you by force to be with him. <laughs> and uh, up through the clouds, and uh, one theologian said, uh, why up through the clouds? Why is he going to escort us up through the clouds? You know what's right above us? The heavens. You know what the heavens are filled like right above us? Evil and wicked yeah. and demonic spirits. They're right above us. You read in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Uh, well, before you get to 18, really. Yes. You see, Christ is going to say, I'm going to be your personal escorter. Yeah. Come get me. I'm going to take you up through these wicked demonic clouds. Yeah. Where in the book of Daniel chapter 10, remember? God dispatched an angel to answer Daniel's prayer. Yeah. And that wicked spirit up there yeah. said, uh, I'm not going to let you through. Try to hold him up. And he wrestled with him for 21 days. And God had to dispatch an angel to get him through. And Jesus said, I'm not going to trust you to, entrust you to Gabriel or Michael. I'm going to come myself. All right now. <laughs> what do you say, huh? <laughs> I'll come myself. Amen. And I'll take you up through the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wow. Amen. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You know how to deliver your servants. You know how to take them up through the wicked, demonic spirits that are all around us, and they would kill you in a second if they only had their way. Amen. They'd knock you out. But amen. First John 4 says, <laughs> Greater is he who is within us than he who is in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You've given us all the protection that we need, and we will be out of here 
sometime soon. Amen. <laughs> Maybe before the sun goes down tonight. Never know. Amen. Up through the cloud Amen. to meet the Lord in the air. And I know you're tired, and I, I know you don't want to hear all of this, but just let me share with you a couple more scriptures, okay? <laughs> just let me share with you just a couple more, okay? Before you, before you tune me out, okay? <laughs> Yeah, look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 in your Bible. Perhaps one of the most exciting books anybody could ever study when you talk about what the Lord's going to do for his church. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15. And I, I get stuck here. I, I really do. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My time just flies on by when I come here. 1 <laughs> Corinthians 15. And uh, let's notice uh, beginning at verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, you know, when you read that interjection there, yeah. behold, look, notice. I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be what? Changed. Changed. And uh, how long is it going to take it? In a moment. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and what's going to happen? The dead and, and the dead shall be raised in how? Incorruptible. In in you all know we are corruptible beings. Amen? All have sinned. All have their weak points. Uh, <laughs> we criticize one another, but we fall into the same category, Amen. do we not? Amen. But we will be raised incorruptible. <laughs> and we shall be changed. Amen. Boy, oh boy, thank you, Handel's Messiah. Mm -hmm. Amen. For putting some of this to music. Yeah. Amen. Uh, behold, I show you a mystery. Yeah. A mystery is something that you can't figure out on your own. Mm -hmm. God has to reveal it. Yes. I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. Everybody is not going to uh, put their head on a pillow all right, now. and expire no. with tears and pain mm -hmm. in our hearts as we cry for our loved ones. Everybody won't do that. Amen. Some of us will be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, a bachelor at the last trump. Amen. For the trumpet shall sound, and what's going to happen to the dead? They're going to get up first. <laughs> the dead, carried, <laughs> shall be raised. <laughs> Ella Hines, right? All right. <laughs> shall be raised. <laughs> Amen. Willie Aiden Jr. shall be raised. Yes. Willie Aiden Sr. shall be raised. Uh, raised incorruptible. All right. And we shall be changed. That's the hope, people. Yes. That's why we don't give up a quit. Yes. That's why we don't build our mansions down here. That's right. Because as Second Peter tells us, what? 310. They're going to go up in flames. The earth and the elements thereof shall do what? They will melt. Melt. Very fervent heat. That's right. And we're going to deal with that one of these evenings in our evening Bible study as we study the book uh, Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hopefully inspire us and challenge us to 
anticipate what God has said in his word because he has given us this word so that we can live yes. in obedience to him. I'm coming out of here because I can show you uh, Philippians 1, 21. All right. Yeah. We can go over there and talk about Philippians 1, 21. And other verses that talk about we shall be changed we shall be like him but 1 Corinthians 15 is one of the grand and glorious chapters in the word of God therefore be ye steadfast unmovable tell me Dorothy always doing what Abounding, that word abounding means jumping over the fence. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get to basketball with uh, yeah. plenty of air in it, yeah. and you smack it against the concrete, and what does it do? It bounces. Amen. Always abounding, not under the circumstances, not crying, foul, somebody mistreated me. Always going over the fence, always abounding in what? you know that your labor that word labor is a an intensive word yeah. your labor your hard work stress the times when you say I'm ready to go home and quit no your labor is not in vain Aren't you glad you're a believer in Christ? <laughs> Aren't you glad we've got a hope in the Lord Jesus Christ? Oh boy, what an opportunity. What an opportunity. Maybe the next time I'll come back and I'll show you the text from Revelation 2.10. 3.10 rather. Mm -hmm. Read it. And uh, what I did for you last night, I wish I could pass it out to you. Because God says, I myself will keep you from this trial. Amen. I'm not going to wait for somebody else to do it. All right. God says, I myself will deliver you from this time of trial and frustration and punishment. I will take you out. Yeah. I said, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you so much. Father, thank you so much for letting us just reflect on this whole thing about the rapture of the church and why we believe that the position that the church will be raptured before the time of persecution breaks out upon this earth. Amen. Lord, for those who are not saved, who never believed on Jesus Christ, May they trust him at this moment and believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and become saints of God through faith in the Lord Jesus. And we'll thank you and we'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. The invitation is given to you this morning. If you're here without Christ as your Savior, we'd love to have the opportunity to explain to you how you can know Jesus as your own personal Savior. And if you're here and uh, without a membership in a local church, and God says,